Hi beautiful lady, how are you? I just am jumping on again onto YouTube to share with you perhaps what it's for me what I've kind of been through and why I've even gotten to this place in the first place and I'm hoping it kind of resonates with you because I don't think I'm the only lady woman in the world that feels this way or felt that way and so I guess for me eight years ago at least yeah probably about eight years ago uh, really started on that idea of getting um, some self-development I've always been a lover of learning and I just I don't know I just really like learning new things and um, so continuously throughout my career I've been taking on new things and I thrive on challenges and um, yeah so that's kind of the process I've been so we moved to a remote town up in the north of Western Australia and if you check you know the bit of my stories on my website on debcourtney.com and you can sort of see that and it's, it's such a beautiful place anyway we've just left there recently but my challenge was to um, really help bring up my family without any normal support that people have on I'm not the only person that has ever done that and and really we we tend to get what we call a broom family and we help each other out I wanted to I guess challenge myself and as a woman when you're not working if you've taken time off for uh, having kids there's often that feeling of oh I'm not contributing to the household and that was me I've worked since I was 14 so when you take that time out you find that you're not contributing and that, that's really where I think for women we start to join that entrepreneurial train and it brings out entrepreneurial spirit in women to find something that can feel like we're contributing and I guess we always want to contribute to society and so it's even closer to us when we're trying to contribute to the family so that's kind of where it started and um, I took on some areas that resonated with me health and well-being resonate with me obviously and and so I took on some of that from an entrepreneurial perspective and I really looked into reading lots of books I've read so many books uh, I've listened to so many um, podcasts and I've listened to audio books I spent that time when I would go and see students on the road I'd not listen to music I actually listen to audio books and mind you it kept me awake a lot more but that's kind of uh, where it really um i guess where i started so but what i was doing was i was learning a lot from men most of the people that are in that personal development world are men and that's fine that's great uh, i don't have a problem with men i've got obviously a lot of them in my family under, under one roof but the difference was every time i'd get to a point and particularly um I was learning quite a bit about internet marketing because it's quite fascinating. Technology's out there, um, good, bad, evil, indifferent, whatever. So I was learning a bit about that as well. But most of the people that were my mentors that I was learning from were men. And I just felt like they didn't quite get me. Like I'd, I'd see where they were coming from. I'd understand what they were saying. But it just didn't kind of relate back to what my life really was and my life as a mum, my life as a wife, my life as a woman, a life as um, then someone getting back into the working arena. It didn't seem to fit right. So I couldn't quite pinpoint what it was or, or um, didn't really vocalise that that was how I was feeling until I came across looking at Creatrix and I was like, oh, that really sounds right. So, But I was also kind of feeling like I was hitting glass ceilings a lot or I'd, I'd get to that point you know I've walked on fire at a Tony Robbins thing and that was pretty amazing pretty empowering I took my husband um, and came back super pumped and but I still always felt like there was something that I'd kind of reached that something you know I'd bump into and then feel like I couldn't go any further and it was only until I went through and had my own breakthroughs that I realized what it was, is that we are so wired differently. Um, we're not supposed to be the same. And, and I get that. We're not, I don't know why we even think we should be. So that's when I had my real breakthroughs. But one of my biggest hang-ups, I guess, was that I never quite felt good enough. And that doesn't really matter where it came from. But it was that much of a thing to me that one time I wrote a book. And it was a book for children because, you know, I think that 
a lot of this happens right from early ages, but it's only since I've been through my own breakthroughs with um, my creatrix is that it's even further back than just childhood. So I wrote that book and it felt a really good achievement. I was really happy with it. So anyway, that was one of my major, major breakthroughs. And I'll tell you a little bit more about my breakthrough in another video and how it felt. But that's something now that I do with other women is taking them through these breakthroughs of um, things that have held you back for so long and they're so ingrained in us and they're so deeply wired for these feelings of you know not good enough or not worthy frustration anger out of frustration i guess the, the guilt the mother guilt that we experience once we're going out into pet an um, entrepreneurial world or even um go, just trying to get back to work and fitting that in around being a mother and wanting to be a good mum and all of that so my journey started quite a while ago uh, i love learning researching listening to those that have more knowledge than me and then trying to incorporate it into my life and my lifestyle and my family and that's where this sat so well once i um, found out about uh, creatrix and how to get get myself through it get to the other side and really understand what it is as a woman why it's so different why we meet those challenges and coming from an epigenetic level of um, you know it's so far back and it's so deeply ingrained that just the normal ways of every psych psychology theory is based from a male perspective you think about like all the ones that I studied going through my university degree, it was all male, Maslow's, Piaget, um, um, Freud, all men trying to describe an umbrella, umbrella us all, yet we're not the same. Our experiences aren't the same. The way we've been treated hasn't ever been historically the same. So the, that's to me now makes it so clear as to why I would get to a certain point and be able to incorporate what I was learning and then feel a bit stuck. Okay, so the, the, the whole new world opened and it's pretty exciting. And I think we women need to embrace our womanhood and the fact that we were born with a uterus. Whether we want to keep that uterus or not, it doesn't matter. Um, whether we want to stay as a woman or not, it doesn't matter. Like, it's just that that's how we are so deeply genetically that that can still uh, affect us and how we feel and how our beliefs are and what our limiting beliefs are so there you go having said all that I just wanted to give you a little background as to where it is uh, that I've reached and where I've come from and hopefully it means that you can resonate somewhat with it and see that you're okay you are amazing you are beautiful um, and you're just that's why I say you're a beautiful lady, all of you that might be watching this. So take care and I will talk to you again soon. See ya.